Hello and welcome to another YouTube video where today we're going to discuss uh, how to get the new steamships. So, as you might already know, um, to build steamships you might, or you will rather, need to do like a pre-crest. Um, little exploratory type crest and then to get the ship you basically need to build a hull a large steamship hull uh, which requires a shipbuilding 10 and handicraft 10 to build the steamship so We've got the St. Lawrence here, and you can see the levels, and you've also got the Clement as well, which is what we're actually planning to look at the pre-crest for. So, <coughs> I've already done this, so it is tried and tested as always with my videos but today we're gonna do it with uh, Jessica my other character as you, you know you'd probably have met Tara in the previous video so this is uh, Jessica's first outing on YouTube So we go to the end of a hallway in the factory, factory being your nation's um, factory, so for the Dutch at Spotsdam, English, um, is Portsmouth, etc, you get the idea. So you speak to the steam engineer and he's going to send you on a mission and if I slowly scroll these over gives you all a chance to read them it don't matter what you answer I don't think I've never actually tried that one actually oh okay normally when you get that you don't get fobbed off but okay seems like this might be an uncharted waters online first so anyway here we go not quite the way I thought it'd go but oh well so as you can see the country is in the process of creating a new type of ship never seen before steamships and you'll need to understand what he's talking about what you see in the factory so of course it's down to industrial revolution that improvements have begun to occur for example there have been improvements for printing technology and food storage technology so food storage being the cans cans of uh, seafood pizza if I recall yeah I don't get that either but oh well <coughs> moving on so ah that's an interesting thing the railways between Boston and stuff our steam well actually just thought there is a steam engine in one of the cities so yeah brain fart there okay so we are competing in terms of technology departments and that's why they're developing the technology and making a steamship however 
although it sounds like a good idea at first, commonly lacking in terms of information, we have completed the basic designs, but they still need some information. So... We need to do a little crest to go and get the information. Okay, so we're going to help. So we need to head to the Jutland Peninsula. Shipyard at the largest city in the area should be fine. At the moment, and I don't know if that will change in, in the future, but at the moment in game that's Lebec. Okay, so we're gonna go off to Lebec and get the required information. What I shall do though is in the meantime I will fast forward and I will um, see you in uh, the back. Okay, so we just made it in Lubeck. So we'll just... <laughs> Why? Okay. So, at the moment, we just need to um, speak to the shipyard guy. There we are. And then that brings up the next part of the story. He has nothing to hide, apparently. I mean, that's got to be suspicious right there. You know. Okay, and that's all we got to do there. So we now head back towards uh, Waterdam and continue the story. So once again, I will fast forward this 
and we'll see you back in Watts Dam. Okay, so we're back in uh, Water Dam. So we go to turn in the crest. Go and turn that into our steam engineer guy. So we're now off to Boston. So we're off now to Boston to see Franklin. So I will do another little fast forward and we'll see you there. Okay, so we're in Boston. And so we basically go and see uh Franklin in the college university, call it what you want there. And so it's a little bit more of a story here.
by connecting this with that you can well yeah <laughs> So basically it's a steamship built with this and that connected. That really does fill me with confidence, huh? Really, really does. Okay, so we're back in uh, uh, Waterdam. So returning our <clears throat> um, Boston information into the steam engineer and as you can see we have all the information there so There we go. So, to make our um, large steam uh, ship hull, we need three improved steel sheets, processed lumber, and the metal work. That will make a hull. And then somewhere sort of under here, there'll be a ship building button and um well yeah get to build your fs part steamship you'll need some large sails a large uh, gun port and a few little bits but yeah job done um you will also need to do this little pre-quest to sail with steamboats as well, so you will have to do it all. Thank you for watching, please share, subscribe and comment and like. Thank you very much.